Hello again, Wellington. I'm Mayor Andy Foster. Look, rates, I'm going to jump right into the subject today because many of you are asking about it. A lot of businesses are hurting, especially in sectors which have essentially been closed for the lockdown. And sadly, that means a lot of our people have lost their jobs or had hours reduced. Many people are looking to the City Council to make some big moves to respond to the pandemic and to soften the economic blow for local businesses and their employees. We absolutely get that and we're working on doing exactly that. I'm meeting with my councillors, Chief Executive Barbara McCarro and her senior management team tomorrow. We'll discuss financial issues facing the City and the City Council. We will provide councillors with a lot of background information about what other councils are signalling, as well as the impacts on councils' own revenue. The sums involved are very large. We know councils around the country are facing similar financial pressures as we are, and we're talking at political and senior management level with other big councils. We will discuss the potential for deferral of the next rates bill due in June. We'll discuss our approach to the 2020-2021 rates. We'll discuss councillors' willingness to alter expenditure and service levels and or debt fund operating expenditure. We will discuss a pandemic package. We will discuss government's request to bring forward capital projects to help reboot the economy. We'll also look at the way we handle the annual plan process. This is not a normal year. We will look at what spending changes could mean for big projects like Tanaka Civic Square, the Central Library and our various infrastructure obligations, notably our Three Waters Network. We'll also look at potential shovel-ready projects to help if their local economy needs pump priming in the coming year. This is an issue being debated at a national level. Immediately after tomorrow's workshop, I'm meeting with the region's mayors and CEOs about infrastructure investment. It's all about keeping people working. We'll be formally agreeing our approach at a council meeting next Thursday. Finally, and on a very different note, tonight at midnight marks just one week since we enter the lockdown. Seems longer. That means we've got another three weeks to go in the best case scenario. It's been a strange seven days with some sad moments, some surreal moments, but also plenty of surprising and uplifting moments. Like me, I'm sure you've been seeing amazing examples of kindness, respect, patience, and araha on a daily basis. Everyone I'm seeing is doing the right things. Staying home, exercising locally, keeping physical separation. There's a real sense of togetherness in this. I am hearing though that some people don't appear to be taking it seriously enough. And there are places where people are congregating. Please, please don't do that. We're having to look at closing at least one more popular location, which will be a shame. But we just have to keep that physical separation. COVID is highly contagious. Look, we want to stamp it out in New Zealand now. That way we save lives and we can get out of the lockdown earlier rather than later. We also reduce the impact on our economy. We've just been talking about rates and our standard of living. So thanks again, Wellington. You've been absolutely, positively awesome. Stay safe, stay connected, stay home and stay strong. Kia kaha. I'll be back tomorrow with another update.